What's up everybody and welcome back to another math puzzle. This one is a little bit of algebra, although it can be solved in another way. And it asks what value of x satisfies the equation below. And you see we've got x plus x over x times x equals 1 over 10. Go ahead and hit that pause button and see if you can figure it out. When you're ready, hit play and I'll give you the explanation. All right, so there's two general ways that we can approach this problem. The first I'm gonna give you is the non-algebraic approach, although I prefer the algebraic approach. But let's start with the non-algebraic approach for people who are just sort of trying to figure their way out through the numbers. So I see that I've got a value plus itself over a value times itself equals 1 tenth. Now I can do a little bit of trial and error. I can start, for example, with one, let's say, right? So if I start with one, it would be one plus one over one times one, okay? And what does that equal? That equals two over one. So that's that's pretty far off from one tenth. Okay, so I'm gonna ramp it up a bit. Let's just jump in with a 10, for example. What if I do 10 plus 10 over 10 times 10? In this case, we've got 20 over 100, which reduces to two tenths, right? If we cancel out a zero there, further reduces to one fifth, but we see now we're a lot closer. So we know we're kind of on the right track and you can keep trying this out until you get to the value of 20 and you'll see 20 plus 20 over 20 times 20, which equals 40 over 400, which of course reduces to cross off those zeros and then four over 40 reduces to 1 over 10. So you can see your value of x is 20. Now let's talk about the algebraic approach. So we're going to see if I got some extra room up here. So what happens when it's x plus x? That becomes 2x. And what about x times x? That becomes x squared equals 1 over 10. So we kind of got, now we got this nice equation here just like this. Now what we can do is I can see I've got an x and an x squared on the bottom. Remember an x squared is just an x times x like we've got written out there. So what can happen is one of those x's, now that we've got this all combined, one of these cancels out with one of these. So now I've got 2 over x equals 1 over 10, and I can cross multiply to solve. 1 times x equals x, 2 times 10 equals 20, and we've got our solution. I hope you enjoyed this math puzzle, and if you did, please click that like button. And if you want to see more math puzzles on the regular, make sure to click subscribe. Thank you guys so much for joining, and I will see you in the next video. Take it easy.